address the issue and suggest ways to fix it. Those were the two main goals during a youth led virtual roundtable this afternoon on student mental health spearheaded by Indy teens. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Nicole Griffin and I'm Amber Grigley. Nikki Dimitri sat in on the virtual roundtable and shares with us what both students and administrators hope is next. Teen mental health, I think underrepresented. Um, I think a lot of people are nervous with teen mental health because they're not little kids and they're not adults. It's a topic these Central Indiana high schoolers say needs to be discussed. Sometimes it's as if um, like society makes us think that our voices don't matter, but that's the complete opposite. As we want to make changes as we go on, Mental health will play a large role. We need to talk about mental health more and we need to treat mental health how we treat our physical health. And Saturday afternoon, it became the topic of conversation. When you think about uh, the importance of the youth voice, uh, it's important that you actually have them do the work and it's important you actually have them uh, do, be the ones who speak up. The virtual roundtable featured a group of 11 student panelists from the Mayor's Youth Leadership Council here in Indianapolis who fielded questions from school administrators and community leaders. Yes, we are advocating for student mental health, but um, for them to also think about their mental health because mental health applies to every single person. For 90 minutes, the group talked about everything from available mental health resources to district responses after student deaths. The COVID impact on mental health too was discussed. Days are up, days are down. So what better time than now to talk about it? Six pages of notes out of it. Um, <laughs> this is awesome because we could get a pulse on kids all around Indianapolis. And these students and administrators hope this roundtable is just the first of many talks on youth mental health to come. For next steps, I think administrators needs to find like take matters into their own hands. They need to find resources to improve mental health. They need to know how to reach out to students. One of the very most important things is to continue to have kids have a voice in this conversation. Don't do it to them, do it with them. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV.